Joni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast. Looking good, Joe, and if you're heading out to brunch or breakfast early this morning, definitely grab the jacket. Very chilly, kind of like yesterday morning. We do warm things up by the time we get to the afternoon a little bit compared to yesterday. More on that in just a second. Let's take you into tomorrow morning because a winter weather advisory is in effect starting early tomorrow morning through the middle part of Monday afternoon. And you can see why 7 o'clock in the morning pink showing up indicating some snow or potentially some freezing rain. Now as we head throughout the later part of the morning we transition over to plain old rain showers. Perhaps some additional sleet or snow by tomorrow evening, but I do think more of the issues will occur during the morning commute rather than the evening one. This will not be a big snowmaker. In fact, a lot of us will just see about a coating more on the accumulation part of the forecast coming up in just a few minutes. You can see a little bit of sun peeking out through the clouds here in the capital city. Temperature is 19 in Seekonk right now. Winds are 10 miles an hour, putting wind chills still in the single digits for most of us. 15 year temperature in Warwick and in Newport, we're sitting at 19 degrees. Block Island a little bit warmer at 21 degrees. Westerly, you're at 14 and still 11 in Taunton. 5 in Willimantic, Connecticut. A little bit more in the way of cloud cover compared to what we had yesterday. You can already see those clouds racing across the sky here. So we'll call it half and half with sun and clouds. The breeze is not quite as busy as what we saw yesterday afternoon. But again, the trade off is we get a little bit less in the sun department. Temperatures this afternoon around freezing. We'll take it 31 by 1 p.m. 3 p.m. We're at 31 degrees. Never made it to freezing yesterday, so a little warmer. Temperature wise by location, no huge differences with high temperatures today. Pretty much low 30s for everybody. Watch what happens as we go overnight through tomorrow morning. Now you're looking at these temperatures and you're thinking, all right, not a bad night considering some of the brutally cold nights we've seen lately. However, you can see around 5 o'clock in the morning, most of our temperatures cold enough to support some light snow coming down. And I do want to emphasize for most of the day, it's not coming down that heavy. In fact, it looks like the heaviest part of this system would be tomorrow evening. However, by around 8 o'clock in the morning, temperatures go just above freezing for most of southern New England. But look at Smithfield to the north and west of 295. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little layer right at the surface which hovers just around freezing. So as the atmosphere tries to transition over to some rain, it still may just be around freezing in northern Rhode Island, creating the threat of some freezing rain. And sometimes that can be worse than snow, creating some of those slick roads. So just take it easy, especially during the late part of tomorrow morning's commute. By tomorrow afternoon, we do start to warm above freezing for most of us transitioning over to the plain old rain showers and then a brief shot of snow or sleet as possible late on Monday night. So that's why on the eyewitness news threat tracker, the only uh, category I have in the yellow would be tomorrow because of that messy mix of precipitation on the way. In terms of accumulations, most of us just get a coating one to two inches if you're traveling into, say, Worcester County, Massachusetts, northern Connecticut, and there could be a few isolated spots to the north and west of two 95, which get closer to the one inch mark. But again, not a big snowmaker in the seven day future cast. You can see behind this mess. It gets much colder on Tuesday with highs only in the low to mid 20s. And then throughout the rest of the week, it's pretty quiet, albeit on the cool side. We will be watching carefully an offshore storm. Most of our computer models keeping it offshore at this time. That's why I'm going to give you a dry forecast for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But of course, should the track of that storm change, then we would obviously have to adjust the forecast for the middle and the end of the week. But my instinct right now is to keep us dry throughout the end of the week. I do believe that storm will be a miss. I'll right, we'll keep watching that, but tomorrow's really the first glitch. A little hiccup, we'll call it. All right, we'll watch that. Thanks so much, Pete. Covering yep. New England for you now in SUV.